Welcome back to Just Scribble. For 2022, I am using a Take a Note planner for my work planner and I absolutely love it. When I unboxed this planner, I was so giddy and so excited because I thought it was going to be the perfect planner and so far it has. So I thought it might be fun to do a little flip through of the first quarter of 2022 in this planner just so you guys can see how I'm using it as my work planner. And then I thought we would move it out of its current cover. It is in an artist collection leather from Chic Sparrow and put it in my new April A5 Cascade folio. So I'm just gonna Move the elastic and we're going to check it out. Now this folio that I have it in, let me move the papers that I have stuck in there. Now this folio is a non-cascade folio. It's just a standard folio. I do only keep my notebook slipped into the right-hand side and I leave the left-hand side free so that I can stick papers or sticky notes or stickers or what have you in it. Right now, the only thing I have in it is a card that someone gave me, some leftover stickers that I didn't use from Lexi Keeley Designs when I was Putting her holiday stickers in my planner. And then this is sticky notes to myself. Don't actually relate to work. And then this is my take a note planner. So I do have a clear cover on it. And I have this journaling card from the Coffee Monsters Co. just stuck inside of it because I thought it was pretty. I may end up changing out this clear cover at some point and putting on one of my decorative covers or change this out and put some paper in there. I haven't really decided, but for now I just kind of keep it simple and I have this clear cover on it just to protect it and that little card there. And it is stitch bound as you can see there. I love this planner. I love this planner so much that I have sent them both emails and direct messages on Instagram asking them to please, please, please make this planner in B6 size for 2023 because I just really love this planner and its layout and I would actually give up my bullet journal style where I do my own spreads to use this planner style in B6. Inside here, I just have a stencil. I actually only use this stencil for these check boxes here. I don't actually use any of the other things on this stencil in this planner, but I keep it there because I use those check boxes. I'm not gonna show you the opening page of the planner. You can check out my unboxing of this planner and you can see it there. I actually have the name of my computer at work on there in case I'm ever working from home and need to log in, and so I don't want to share that. The opening pages after that are just a calendar overview and then this monthly overview section that you could use for tracking, marking holidays, things like that. I actually haven't filled this out as you can tell because I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to use it for initially. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to color code it with our company holidays school holidays and my vacation days just to keep track of when I am out of the office. So I think I'm actually going to do that with it, but I haven't done it yet. But we're just gonna flip through. I'm gonna take off my little clips. I have some page mark clips on here. I'm gonna take those out. Now I didn't start using this planner until 2022 after the new year. The weekly pages in this planner don't actually start in December. They start the last week of December that included the first days of January. So it is really a January start planner, but there was a December monthly in it. So I decided to decorate it partly so that it wasn't blank and partly so I could get a feel for using the monthly calendar. I absolutely love the monthly layout in this planner and I will show you one that I haven't decorated just so you can see how it's set up without the extra decor. But I love the simplicity of it and I love the color scheme of it. I love that Monday through Friday are gray. I do work a normal work week and then the weekends are brown. I love that it has a lot of extra space around the edges that I can use for notes or lists or decor. I just absolutely love it. I do not plan from this monthly spread each month because we do use digital planners at work, but I do keep it completed and filled out and I do reference it a lot, especially when we're in meetings. I can flip back to the monthly if we're talking about planning something or talking about a deadline or talking about when something falls in the month. And so I like having them decorated because it inspires me to use them and filled out because I do reference them. So this is December. 
Most of the decoration in this planner are going to be stickers from Live Love Posh, but there are some other stickers, so I'll share with you if I can remember where they're all from. But these are Live Love Posh stickers, so I just laid those stickers down. This is a box from the Hobby Planner, and then I just used some highlighters and colored pens that kind of coordinated with the stickers. So that was December, and then this is January. I put little check boxes for myself here for things that needed to get done in the month. January, very busy with year end clothes, so I definitely wanted to make sure that I remembered all the things that I needed to do for compliance and year end clothes. These are also from Live Love Posh. All of the holiday stickers that are on here throughout the monthly are from Lexi Keeley Designs. I do have an unboxing of her holiday stickers. I really, really like them, but that's where the holiday stickers are from. This is February. This was probably one of my favorite spreads. I really, really like these florals. They're kind of moody and romantic and I thought it was so pretty. And then I have these blush transparent post-it notes that I got from Avant Agenda and they were perfect for sticking in here. I was planning a baby shower for one of our staff and so I could keep notes about the baby shower on there and it matched beautifully to this spread. And then this is March. So in March, I did add some washi. This is actually washi tape that I got from Jet Pens. So the sort of flag piece actually comes on the washi and then I wrote on the washi. This is a sticker from the Happy Planner and then these are florals from Live Love Posh. And in March, I started drawing a brown line here. It matches the brown up here. I actually had a highlighter that was the same color. I started drawing a brown line to kind of just separate my weekend from my work. I just really liked how that looked, making it a little bit more distinct. That is March. I'm just going to flip through the first quarter and then if you guys like this video we'll do the same thing for the second quarter at the end of the second quarter. But I'm going to flip to June just so you can see what the spread looks like before decor. The only thing I have on here are some holiday stickers. That is what it looks like and then I added that brown line. I went through and I added that brown line through all the months through the end of the year because I really liked that separation. So that is the monthly and then after the monthly you come to the weekly and this is where I spend the majority of my day. My planner stays open to the week that I'm on on my desk and I use it all the time. So the way this planner layout works is you have your full week here. So you can see events, meetings, things like that each day. And then each day has a half page vertical layout that has time blocking on it. So since I was on vacation this particular week, I didn't really do much with it. I wrote that I was on vacation and marked that on there. I had something that was due on the 31st that I needed to remember about, so I made notes about that. And then I put a pretty floral from Live Love Posh that I thought kind of coordinated with the gold that I was using. I was actually using a gold Zig Clean color dot marker to write this. I wrote this in the dot piece of it, and then this is with the dual end. And then we get into the actual use of the planner and my use of the planner has changed a little bit and it kind of shifts depending on how busy I am for the week or what I need for the week, but the overall usage is pretty much the same. On this side over here where we have the full week sort of overview, I put meetings, trainings, and other appointments that I have. And then I use each day, I mark out the hours that I actually am at work. So I do work a sort of eight to five, I actually work closer to eight to six. But I do work a sort of standard work hour set. So I mark my hours that I'm at work and then I put priorities at the top and then notes or tasks or other things at the bottom. It does shift a little bit. Sometimes I take these priorities off. I put them down here. Sometimes if it's an important day, I'll put that up here as a designation and then I'll put my priorities down here. But that's kind of how I use it. And then for the time blocking, I always mark the time that I'm at work. But some weeks that are super, super busy like this one, I actually keep track of what I'm doing throughout the day in the little time blocked section. And then the extra stuff is kind of notes and to do's and things like that weeks that aren't quite as busy I put my events and meetings and things like that and I actually time block them on there and then that's the only thing that goes in there is my time block schedule and you'll see that as we flip through but the first part of the week Monday Tuesday Wednesday is on this spread and then when you flip the page you get Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday 
I don't work the weekends generally. And when I do, I don't need time blocking on all of that. I'm working on a specific deadline or a specific project. So I actually cover up the weekend days with washi or stickers. And then I use this page, this right hand page at the end of the week. I use it for master to do's, lists of notes, reminders for the next week, things like that. These florals are also from Live Love Posh. I think this is an MT washi tape, but I'm not 100% sure. And then this is from Goat Girl Goodies. And I'm just gonna flip through. These stickers are from the Happy Planner, these butterfly stickers. Same basic setup there. In this particular week, I made a section for notes for the day. I do play with the layout some, partly because I don't like to get bored and partly because I'm trying to figure out that perfect sweet spot in how to use the planner. But I love how I've used the planner, even in the weeks where it was sort of a test. It has really worked well for me, giving me enough space to keep track of my day, keep track of what I'm doing, keep track of my to-dos, my priorities, also notes. In this particular week, I used very few stickers. These are from the Happy Planner. And then some Doodle Grid Washi. I think that's from Goat Girl Goodies as well. In this one, I sort of doodled with red pen on these black flowers. They are also from Live Love Posh. And I actually covered the days of the week in this one. They're normally this sort of faint gray writing and I covered them with script stickers from Live Love Posh to kind of match the black moody stickers that I had going on. And now we're entering February. These are from the Happy Planner. I think this hexagon washi is actually from Live Love Posh, but I'm not 100% positive on that. Happy Planner florals. These are Live Love Posh. This is more of the washi tape. You can see I'm usually covering Saturday and Sunday with some sort of decorative sticker just to allow my spreads to look pretty, but because I don't need Friday and Saturday on here, it's a good place to add a little bit of decor. More Live Love Posh stickers. These are one of my favorite stickers from her. I used Rose Colored Days holographic checkbox washi strips there. These are from the Happy Planner, just some Tombow coloring. This week I mixed some stickers that I got from Avery in their planner box. I do have a video where I unbox that planner box. I mixed those with some leftover wreath stickers I had from the Happy Planner. I hate these wreath stickers, but I thought they might be a nice way to kind of mark a priority for the day. And then I have Girl Boss Anna sort of swash stickers there. And those I used to designate things that were out of the office, like my dentist appointment and a lunch. These gold strips are from that same Avery box. And then the washi tape is empty washi tape and a Happy Planner sticker. These are washi flake stickers. They're the little prints. I got them on Amazon. They have beautiful gold foil. And then I matched it with this beautiful washi tape from Mandy Lynn Plans because I thought it was a really pretty mix. These are more Love Love Posh floral stickers. This time I decorated all the way across the top and just used the bottom for notes and my days were just time blocked. I didn't write my tasks throughout the day. I wrote them down below in my task lists. And these are Live Love Posh purple stickers with some mild liner and Tombows. The quote is from AMXO, Alicia Michelle. And then we are getting into April. This is the last week of March. This butterfly washi is from the Happy Planner. These are Happy Planner stickers. And then some more of my checkbox stickers from Rose Colored Days in the gold to match that washi. And then we are in April. So that is how I have been using my Take a Note Planner and I absolutely love it. It is a little bit messy and a little bit decorative and very, very functional for me. Back, there are some note pages, but I have notes back there that I can't share. It's just maybe four or five note pages. That is my take a note planner and how I am using it for work. I'm gonna stick these back in here real quick so I don't lose them and I'll remark my pages later. 
but we are going to take this out and put this in my new cover and get that kind of set up. I do keep a pretty simple work setup because I really just need the planner and my pen, but I thought I would use the Cascade pockets that I got in the April folio and we would put some sticky notes and other things in there. So we're going to take this and this is my beautiful April folio. I did change out the elastic. This elastic is from Illustring. That's where I buy pretty much all of my elastic. And I did put a barb on it. I have a video sharing how to do that. I'm going to have to recenter my little Coffee Monsters Co. card a little bit. That's pretty good. And it actually matches. And I'm going to stick my planner on the right hand side like that. Oh, these tabs are from, I am blinking on where they are from. I will put it right here so you guys can check it out. They are clear with white writing and I have them with black writing too, but I really liked the white for my work planner. And the rest of these tabs are Avery and post-it note tabs. So there we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my sticker sheet back in here because I had this stuff in there before and then I'll figure out where I want it to go. So we're gonna stick that there. And then I did pull out some sticky notes to put in here. And I was trying to decide which ones I wanted to use. These are from Avant Agenda. These I think are from Jane's Agenda. We're gonna use these. So I'm gonna stick, sorry about my kiddo making noise. I'm gonna stick those there. And then this is a, oops, this is just a little card that has a ruler on it and it says blessed beyond measure. So my hair in there. And these are some clear sticky notes that I kind of keep stuck on there. So I'm gonna stick that there. And I'm gonna put this little card that says urgent. This is from Avant Agenda. I'm gonna put the little urgent card back there in case I need it. I have these stickers from my promise notes and I'm gonna stick them here in case I want to use them. And then, actually, you know what? We're gonna put remember here. Take that one out. And urgent there. I'm not big on decorating my planner pockets and I'm not very good at it, but it is sometimes nice to have a little something special in your planner. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put you were created with purpose because it has the pretty pink that matches or don't measure yourself by someone else's ruler. And I actually think I like this one. So I'm going to move, I'm going to switch things around. I'm going to put the sticky notes here. And I'm going to put that little card there. This is from Jane's Agenda. And I'm going to stick it here. And then I'm going to use this paper clip to attach it to that little card. And that is it. I'm going to leave it like that. Just want it to be functional. Oops, let's move that out of the way. Just a little bit of decoration and some functional accessories. Mostly I just wanted to move out of my other cover and put it in this beautiful pink cover. Let me stick my papers that I had in there back there and my elastic. I think it actually fits in this planner cover better. They're the same size, but it seems to like this leather a little bit better. But that is my work planner, my take a note planner. I love this planner. They are currently sold out everywhere, but I will definitely be stocking them when they list their 2023 planners so I can make sure that I get one for my work planner because I don't intend on changing out of this planner for work. And then if they add B6, please, 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 I will snag one for my EDC. Otherwise I may stag one of their mini A6 sizes and just see if I can make it work. But that is my flip through of Q1 2022 in my work planner and my new setup in my new April folio Chic Sparrow. If you have any questions about anything I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this flip through of my work planner. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget 
to just scribble.